Happy Diwali. It's a festival that marks the victory of good over evil. This victory in the Ramayana comes in the form of many stories, stories you may have heard. The simplest and the most prominent story is this one. Ravan takes Sita to Lanka against her will. Ram slays him and they return home. Every year we celebrate this story. We talk about its relevance in our lives today. How we must slay the demons in our world. The many Ravans around us who force themselves on women. These predators, these demons must be defeated too. So this Diwali, as we wish you health and prosperity, we also urge you to take on such demons around you. And we start the show tonight with a story from China. A powerful man sexually assaults a woman, then uses his position to mentally torture her. He forces her to submit to his demands. The victim or the survivor is helpless. Forget about complaining. She can't even describe her ordeal to anyone because speaking out will have dangerous consequences. This is a story from China. This is a story of many, many women in many parts of the world. Some of them decided to speak out and thus began the Me Too movement, women, women speaking out and exposing powerful men around them. It's a very difficult battle for any woman. Even more, if she lives in a country like China, because here, the entire state machinery can be unleashed to silence her. It's happening as we speak. Chinese censors are furiously scrubbing a story off the internet. They are trying to protect a very powerful man. His name is Zhang Gaoli, the former vice premier of China. He apparently sexually assaulted a woman. The woman in question was Peng Shuai, one of the biggest tennis stars of China, a former world number one in doubles, a winner of the French Open and the Wimbledon. Peng Shuai was sexually assaulted by Zhang Gaoli. She apparently suffered for years, then decided to speak out. Late on Tuesday, she published this lengthy post on Weibo. It's like the Chinese Twitter. This is where she shared her story and we managed to get a copy of it. The allegations made in this post are appalling. A sexual predator in the top ranks of the Communist Party serving at the highest levels of the Chinese government, Zhang Gaoli retired only three years back. And even now the Communist Party is protecting him, defending him. Before I tell you what he did, let me also tell you about this man. Who is this man? Zhang Gaoli is 75 years old now. He's an economist by education. He served as the governor of Shandong. He was also the party secretary of Tianjin. In 2013, he was appointed as the vice premier of China. This made him the seventh most powerful man in the country. He served as the vice premier for five years. He retired in 2018. The events in our story tonight span more than a decade. Zhang Gaoli first made contact with Peng Shuai in Tianjin, where, she was, where he was serving as party secretary. The alleged assault took place three years ago. Zhang had invited Peng for a meal. He then pressured her to have sex. I'm going to read out for you specific parts from Peng's post on Weibo. This is what she says. I never consented that afternoon, crying all the time. I wasn't willing after supper and you said you hated me. You said you never forgot me in the seven years and promised to be kind to me. With fear and panic and with my feelings from seven years ago, I agreed. The three years that followed were apparently an ordeal for Peng. She writes further, and I'm quoting, I know that for someone of your eminence, Vice Premier Zeng, Zhang Gaoli, you've said that you're not afraid. But even if it's just me, like an egg hitting a rock, or a moth to a flame, quoting self-destruction, I'll tell the truth about you. Peng says she was forced into a relationship with Zhang. It's horrible, it makes you angry, and this is not even a unique story. Like I said, a lot of women live this horror. What makes this an exceptional act of courage on the part of Peng is that such stories are virtually unheard of in China. Never before have we heard of a senior Communist Party official being publicly accused of sexual assault. You can only imagine how much damage this can cause Xi Jinping, which is why Beijing is doing everything it can to kill this story. Chinese censors have gone into an overdrive. They first went after Peng Shuai. Her post, the one that we 
read out to you the excerpts. That post was deleted just 20 minutes after it went online. 20 minutes. Then Peng's Weibo account was blocked. No one was allowed to comment on her previous posts. Chinese censors did not stop there. They're making sure that people are not able to discuss these revelations anywhere on the internet in China, even on tennis forums. Online forums on tennis have been silenced in China. Comments on online pages of state media have been blocked. Comments on Chinese broadcaster CCTV's Weibo account have been disabled. This account alone has almost 24 million followers. China has unleashed a mass gag. And in public, Chinese officials are behaving like nothing has happened. China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs was asked about these allegations. The spokesperson said he'd not even heard about the post. And no one is surprised by this response. In China, the culture of silence prevails. In the past, women in media, at universities, in the private sector, they've all come forward with accusations of sexual assault. They said it's almost like a tradition in their country. Men in powerful positions demand sexual favors. And the system looks the other way. Even the country's top prosecuting agency agrees. In 2016, they released a report on the traits of corrupt officials in China. Do you know what featured prominently in that report? The exchange of quote-unquote power for sex recklessly. And when victims speak out, they face censorship and pushback. The most high-profile case of sexual assault in China emerged in 2018. A woman took a prominent television anchor to court only to be countersued for slander. A court in Beijing said there wasn't enough evidence, insufficient evidence. The grounds on which the case was dismissed. So predators escape and survivors are persecuted. The latest case is proof. The Communist Party mobilizing the might of the state to silence one woman. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.